Now we're legally married. Show your hands, my love. So, Joy got here about a month ago, and we have three months on this fiance visa in order to get married. And so, uh, I'm really good friends with my minister here. And so we were like, great, let's just do a really simple one. My parents and my kids will be there, that's it. Just no music, no mics, no nothing. Just, just keep it simple. And we'll do a big wedding in the Philippines here a, a couple of years from now and for, for Joy's family. But just for this legal process, we'll do it now. So we had it planned on the 10th of June. So yeah, I have so, $1 dress. And we decided to go with the more expensive one, the $4 one. Yes. And then I went and bought nice clothes. Um, my outfit costs like 10, 12 times, 15 times as much as Joy's outfit. And um, and I got it at a discount store too. So <laughs> so anyway, we uh, had it all planned and I text my minister the night before and he's like, do you got your paperwork? And we're like, what? I thought you were doing the paperwork. And so it turns out we have to run down to the courthouse. So we went to the courthouse at eight in the morning. Um, they're like, you don't have your uh, social security number and you gotta go to the social security office. So we ran to the social security office, waited in line there, and Joy, we filled out paperwork for her to apply for social security, I guess, card, which I didn't think you got that until after you were a citizen. And then we ran back to the courthouse and we got our, our paperwork right here that the minister will sign and two witnesses. But we were just too late for our first wedding date. And uh, so we rescheduled it to today, which is Friday. Can, can you take pictures, Waylon? Can you do good photography? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Joy. Okay. We're gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join Jason and Joy in holy matrimony. I charge you both as you stand here in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty to each other will be the foundation of your happy home. If the solemn vows which you now make are kept sacred, if you endeavor to do, to do the will of our Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy and the home you establish will abide in peace. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than these that you now make. Marriage is a celebration of love and friendship and requires an unselfish demonstration of affection toward each other. God's Word describes these qualities as love. This is from 1 Corinthians 13, known as the love chapter. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Jason, do you take joy to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And do you forsake all others and keep yourself for her only as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. Your turn. Okay, Joy, do you take Jason to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Do you forsake all others and keep yourself for him only as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. Jason, if you'll place the ring on your finger and repeat these words after me. In token and pledge of the vows made between us, with this ring, I be wed. All right, I'll joy if you place the ring on Jason's finger. <laughs> And repeat after me in token and pledge of the vow made between us. With this ring, I be with. I'm going to pray for you. 
Lord, thank you for introducing Jason and Joy. Thank you for bringing them together. Thank you for, for the blessing that this will be for both of them. Jason will bless Joy. Joy will bless Jason. And the world will be blessed by the union. Pray that your Holy Spirit always abides in them, with them, and through them in all that they do. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Because Jason and Joy have consented together in holy wedlock, I pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss the bride. May I introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jason Brubaker. I knew you'd fit me like a glove the day I fell in love with the way you said my name. I know it sounds crazy, baby. Try to understand me, please do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew you'd fit me like a glove the day I fell in love with the pictures in my head. I know it sounds crazy, maybe one day I could share them with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Congratulations. And I really don't mind waiting as long as it takes you. I've been searching for so long, so what's another week or two? Cause every time I see you, life goes bright. The moon, the stars, the fireflies, they light. It seems as if the world stopped turning round and round. Well, since I found, I found you. This is the most evil smoothie in the world. And so this morning we we uh, officially tied the knot. We have our paperwork now. Bling, bling, bling. And uh, my friend who was in the town in town from Chicago was our one guest. Yes. <laughs> and I didn't invite anyone else because I, you know, as soon as you really invite simple. one person, you gotta invite everybody. So, but my friend showed up, and that was nice. He was one of our witnesses, so that was fun. And my kids were there, and we took pictures. We had a really super simple wedding. And now we're at the courthouse going to turn our papers in just like that. So that's what we're doing. So now we're legally married. Yeah. So now if I go to the Philippines with her, they can't be like, you can't, you can't come back to America because you're not legally married. 